Hi, welcome back. I'm Mrs. Croft. I'm a second grade teacher at Early College Prep Academy at Loman Hill, and I'm so glad that you've joined us today. We're going to start a new module. We're starting module two, and we're going to start with lesson one, and it's all about understanding the concepts of a ruler. So we're going to talk a lot about a ruler and measurements and inches and centimeters. So let's get started. Our learning intention today is we're learning to connect measurement with physical units by making copies. And we'll know we succeeded when we explain how to mark and measure with an object without gaps, okay? And we'll talk about gaps in just a second. Our vocabulary is a centimeter. A centimeter is a small unit of measurement. This is a centimeter cube and it's one centimeter on all sides. Combine means to join together, like these blocks are joined together. And to estimate means a close guess of a number or an amount. Okay, let's do some fluency. We're gonna do two or two more. And when I say a number, you're gonna say, what is two more than that number? So here's your first number, six. You say two more is eight. Good job, six plus two is eight. Nine, 11, good job. Nine, 10, 11. It's a little harder to think when we cross over the 10. 38, 40, good. And that one is supposed to be 19. So 19, I'm gonna type that in for you really quick right here. 19, there it is. All right, 19 plus two is yeah, 21. It goes across the line, across to the next 10. Okay, here's our application problem today. Vincent counts 30 dimes and 87 pennies in a bowl. How many more pennies than dimes are in the bowl? Okay, do we need to know the value of these right now? No, we're just talking about the number of items. So we put 87 as our whole, okay? And you want to know how many more, which means we're going to subtract the 30 from the 87. So first we're going to take out your tens because it's going to make it easier. Eight tens minus three tens is five tens, right? And then we have the seven that's left over here. Well, we already took out our 30, but we need to add that seven back in. So the 50 plus seven is 57. So we know that there are 57 more pennies than dimes in the bowl, okay? Always take out your 10, it makes it so much easier. All right, we're gonna get right into the object of our lesson. We're gonna measure with centimeters. A centimeter looks like this. This is kind of an enlarged view, but if you look on my ruler right here, I'm gonna scoot it really close, you can see centimeters are up here. And if we flip the ruler over, inches are on the other side. So it kind of doesn't have them lined up just right, but here it will show you that one inch is about two and a half centimeters. So centimeters are smaller than inches. Okay, here's our cube like we showed before. And if we were gonna measure this crayon, which it's not, not quite the regular size of a crayon, but it's pretty darn close. We're gonna take this cube and we're gonna measure it. But I'm gonna challenge you right now. Can you guess how many centimeters might it take to measure this crayon? I'll give you just a second to think about it. Okay, if you guessed, keep it in your head because we are going to measure it and we're gonna see what it is. All right, so we have this two, three, but you're getting excited to see if you were right, four, five, ooh, I think I might have been off by one, six, <laughs> seven, eight. And you know what? I think. I don't have these lined up right. We don't want any gaps. When we talked about gaps, we talked about uh, earlier, we meant these spaces, okay? A gap is just a space, okay? So we don't want spaces and we don't wanna overlap them because this one isn't a centimeter, but this one really is. So we wanna make sure it's right 
end to end, okay? So I'm gonna scoot mine over just a little bit so they're about right. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I went a little crazy right there. Eight centimeters. So this crayon is eight centimeters long. Were you right? All right, I hope you were right. If you guessed around six or seven, that was a good estimate. That was a good guess. All right, the picture of the fork and the spoon is about how many centimeters long? These are cubes, so we don't see the whole cube, but we're gonna take this little cube, just like you would have your base 10 blocks for one unit, we're gonna use that as a centimeter cube, and we're gonna line them up. Now, you always wanna start at the end. Don't start like this, don't start over here. We wanna measure every part of the fork and the spoon. So we're gonna put them end to end so there's no gaps and there's no overlaps. No gaps, no overlaps, okay? And, oh, we're almost done. Look at that. Okay. Well, you see some hanging over. What are we going to do about that? Well, see this word about? That means really close to. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it's not quite six, but it's about six. And if I extended this line, it would be a little bit more than six. So we're going to take and, whoa, put a huge six right here. All right. Awesome. So it's about six centimeters long, okay? Now we're gonna measure another one. What about the hammer? How many centimeters long is the hammer? Do we start here? No, do we start here? No, how about over here? No, could we start at this end? Yes, uh-oh, don't let me trick you. I'll trick you as long as it's lined up with this line, you can start at either side. It really doesn't matter, okay? So we could start at the other side, but, but don't do this. Don't start at both sides because then you might have a weird one in the middle that kind of overlaps. So pick a side, start at one end or the other, make sure it's lined up, no gaps, no overlaps, okay? And then once we get them all lined up, we're gonna count. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five all oh, about five here's our word about about so let's get our big old uh our big old six and we're gonna change it to a five all right awesome there we go a picture of the hammer is about five centimeters long very good okay so we know that a centimeter is smaller than an inch we know that uh it's always the same size because measurements are always the same okay we know that we can't have overlap we know that we can't have spaces or gaps we know that we start right at the beginning okay and go all the way to the end and if it hangs over just a little bit well it's almost that one so we can say about now if it says exactly then you're gonna have to find out exactly how much it is here's your journal for today your journal exit ticket is this paintbrush okay you're gonna do the exact same thing but they've already done it for you. So you're gonna read about Sarah and how she measured this and answer whether she measured it correctly or not. I bet you can already see what's going on over here. It's kind of kind of wild. And then you have some homework to do. You're gonna count uh, each centimeter cube, write down how long they are, and guess what? You know how to measure with centimeters. I'm so proud of you. I'm excited about this lesson. I'm excited that you're going to learn to measure and I've got some really cool activities. So you might want to pause the video. If you need to go back, watch any part again, do it. Here are some making tens from earlier lessons and then strolling with my nomies. It's a measurement game. <laughs> so I hope you have fun. And then here's another one with a little uh, beaver on it to measure. And they're just some fun games to keep those skills sharp, okay? I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I did too. Make sure you do your work and I will see you next time.